Now let's see how we should complete a question of cash flow statement involving some difficult adjustments. Cash flow statement as of December uh, 2000. Net income is given from the income statement and then we add depreciation in it. It is also that depreciation figure is given in the notes. Then depreciation uh, loss on uh, sale of equipment, then law, uh, gain on sale of inventory, uh, investments, so that is a reduction. Increase in account receivable, increase in inventory, increase in payable. So make it sure that you understand that the brackets are outflow and without bracket figures are inflows. Depreciation is added back and uh, building equipment all that but the receivables inventory payable they are uh, from the working capital uh, figures increase in payable is inflow as i said the formula as i just suggested the formula you keep in mind increase in liability inflow decrease in liability outflow now increase in accrued expense accrued expenses also a liability so if it increases, it's inflow, and if it decreases, it is outflow. So in this case, it is increases as per the balance sheet. So there is a inflow. So cash generated from operating activity is forty three thousand four two five. Now in working look here, another important thing which we I want to explain you here that there is a two figures income state uh, balance sheet of last year, the balance sheet of this year the total figures over there and the difference of those figures either inflow or outflow so we need to reconcile that difference that change in those figures whether they are giving inflow or outflow so i will suggest uh, for the beginners that what you do that when you have the two two balance sheets you work out the differences so there simply you can understand whether there is inflow or outflow the formula which I have given you. So in this case, we have to reconcile the retained earnings. Then we have the machinery. See, opening minus disposal plus purchase is equal to closing. This is a formula. So using that, we have worked out that how much uh, the uh, you got the machinery. Then equipment, equity investments also. Similarly, the formula is the same. So you got the figures. Then you have the equation. So put the equation three figures available and you come up with the fourth figure itself. Similarly in building the same formula is being used. Collection from customer. Now this is for the direct methods. Again I said that you need to find out first of all this, how much we collected from the customer. Again receivables opening plus sales minus closing receivable. The formula is there. Similarly in, in case of purchases I said it's two, two ways. The first of all, you need to find out the purchases and how the purchases are going to be determined. We got cost of goods sold plus closing minus opening. And then you got the figure of purchases. And then is the payment for supplier. In this case, opening accounts payable plus purchases minus closing accounts payable. The so balance is paid to the supplier. Similarly, operating expenses. Now, forget. Uh, don't forget this operating expense do not include depreciation. Please, it's a separate thing altogether depreciation. That will be adjusted up. So in direct method, we don't have depreciation. We have opening accrued expenses plus charge to the income and then uh, minus the closing balance of accrued expenses. So you come up with the payment for the expenses. So direct method, the answer again the same. Collection. Payments, supplier, payment for expenses, and cash from operating activity, the same, same figure, 43,425. So the cash flow operating and financing activity will remain the same. So for the indirect method is concerned. Let's see the other investing activity. Purchase of building, notes is there. Purchase of investments, again clear. Purchase of machinery is also clear. So with the, those active those notes you will see the figures are there 
sale of investments given and sale of machinery is also given next cash outflow investing activities I mean if you see the bracket figures are negative that is outflow and the positive figures are without a bracket so total net cash outflow investing activities it means you paid more on investing activities because there is a negative and coming to the cash flow from financing activity we have paid dividend do you remember they have also paid stock dividend that will not be reported here because there is no cash flow is involved now repayment of long term payables long term liabilities again so cash outflow on financing activity that is 31125000 is an outflow now in operating activity there is positive inflow in investing activity there is a negative inflow and similarly in financing activity again there is a negative inflow but if you sum up these three figures so there is a positive net cash inflow for the year 8250 now if you add on this if you put your opening balance of cash opening balance last year's balance sheet so you will come up with the closing balance of this year's balance sheet the cash and cash inflows 